Okay. Marathon winner at this point. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have Pastor Steve Castle here. This is the one uh, that filed a lawsuit against our governor. So, hey, Pastor, thank you so much. Yeah, federal lawsuit against uh, Governor Pritzker for obviously flagrantly and violently uh, treading upon our First Amendment rights uh, as Illinoisans. 17 million Illinoisans were put on house arrest. They have no rights to worship. Hebrews 10.25 says, do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together. And Governor Pritzker said, forsake the assembly of yourselves together. So right now, Governor Pritzker has decided that his authority is above God's authority. And if we remember from history class that the Founding Fathers said that our rights, especially the Bill of Rights, specifically the First Amendment, was an inalienable right and that it came from nature's God. And so that means that either Pritzker believes that he's God or he has violated the First Amendment flagrantly. Um, we all know that he believes that he's violated the First Amendment very, very flagrantly because midday after he found out about our federal lawsuit against him, he changed course midday. That is a massive, massive victory. Um, if nothing else happens, uh, Steve Castle uh, fought for every pastor out there. You have the right now to have a drive-in services. You have the right to have 10 people in your building. You didn't have the right to do anything before we filed this suit. So worst case scenario, we actually fought for your rights to actually have church, but we are totally not done. I want all of the First Amendment back. I want it all back. All the First Amendment belongs to us as citizens, as patriots of this nation, and I'm going to keep fighting no matter what. Uh, I appreciate it. I want to say, as a pastor of a church, I appreciate it. I was thrilled when I heard about it because, you know, a lot of times people don't know exactly how to go about trying to stop these things. And so you kind of hope somebody in the legislature or somebody kind of takes that stand. And I appreciate you taking the time to figure out what needs to be done, getting it done, and being willing to take some ridicule. You know, the governor, he kind of addressed you like, you know, there's something wrong with you. You just don't care about people. Well, what do you have to say to that? <laughs> you know, the guy, I, I wish... I wish I really had the time because if I if I honestly if somebody was honestly looking for a legitimate debate about this, the fact that right now COVID is has a 0.007% chance of killing someone in Illinois, 0.007% chance. That that is abysmal. All of the all of the the stats that he used, all the science that he used, all of that was absolutely bunked from the very beginning. The fact that right now 210,000 children, if you have a heart, if you're out there and your heart actually beats, listen, 210,000 children in the United States because of this lockdown are being right now raped, molested, and physically abused. Raped, molested, and physically abused. I have a heart. Because I have a heart, we have got to end this lockdown. We've got to set people free. We've got to get these kids to some help. The, the alcoholism in our country, they've already proven it, has gone up. Alcohol and drug abuse has gone up 55%. 55% more people right now are in alcohol, uh, alcoholism and drug abuse addiction because of what this has done. If, if the stats, I could, do all, I could do this all day. What is going on right now because of this lockdown is killing more people, probably 10 times more people than anything that COVID could do. This has never been about COVID. This has been about control and death. And we have got to fight against that. If you call yourself a Christian out there right now, you should be livid that your government has taken away your rights to get into people's lives, to get the gospel physically into people's lives, to, be, to cry with those that cry, to rejoice with those that rejoice, to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. This should be a, this should be a deep driving passion on the inside of you if you call yourself a person of God. So you're going to be open Sunday, right? That's what I heard on the radio. I can tell you this. The only thing I'm allowed to legally say right now uh, by my by my amazing law, I gotta say this: if you if you believe in what we're doing, if you're out there and you're a patriot and you're a you're an honest believing Christian and you believe in what we're doing, 
then please go and support the Thomas More Society because they have been doing an incredible, an incredible job of representing us. They are some of the most amazing, incredible people that I've ever heard. I will never tell another lawyer joke the rest of my life because I met some really amazing, wonderful people. So go support the Thomas More Society. So here's what I'm allowed to say. Steve Castle on Sunday morning at 9.30 in Lena at Beloved Church is going to be standing in his pulpit. I'm going to be under the anointing of God. I'm going to preach what the Father has in my heart. And I don't know exactly what's going to go down. I don't know exactly how that's going to break out. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be preaching the gospel. And I, I can't tell people to stay away. It's a free country. Kind of. It's a kind of free country. <laughs> so I'm just telling you, I'm going to be preaching. I don't know what. Right now, I don't know exactly what the context is going to look like, but I will be in my pulpit preaching my heart out like I do on every Sunday morning. Well, hey, we will be at our church praying for you all day. Amen. All right. I receive it. I covet your prayer. God bless you. Thank right. you.